All right, everyone, I just got a question about um, a conversion. It's 5.6 kilograms, and they want to convert that into milligrams. First of all, we should recognize that kilograms is much bigger, and sorry, I got paint on my hands because I'm painting. And so we should recognize that kilograms is much bigger than milligrams. So we expect our answer to be pretty big. We expect there to be a lot of milligrams, a lot of little tiny things, and this 5.6 big things. All right, the next um, thing that we have to remember is what these little prefixes mean. So we can go through and do all of them, but you should memorize them. Kilo, kilo I should say, is 10 to the third, and milli is 10 to the negative third, and that's what those prefixes mean. So when I say 5.6 kilograms, I'm actually saying 5.6 times 10 to the third grams, because kilo is 10 to the third. So you wanna start kind of right here. Um, and this is the way I teach you in the lecture. You want to make sure that you just kind of avoid doing an extra step if you want to, just by replacing that kilo with 10 to the third. Now we're in gram town. If this is grams, we have to put grams down here and we want to turn it into milligrams. Now your next question is, okay, well, how many milligrams are in a gram? Well, that's easy because we know that milli is 10 to the negative third. So there are 10 to the negative third grams and in milligram, these two things are equivalent. Now, when you go to calculate it out, you have 5.6. Our grams will cancel 5.6 times 10 to the third, divided by 10 to the negative third, and our resulting unit is milligrams. Now we just have to go through and calculate this out. Anytime we have exponent divided by an exponent, you use uh, subtraction. If you have an exponent times an exponent, you multiply. So here we have 5.6 times 10 to the third. And remember, it, we, we're dividing here, so we're gonna subtract minus a negative three. If you subtract negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. And that's how we get 5.6 times 10 to the six milligrams as our final answer. Um, if you want to look at sig figs, keep in mind these are exact numbers. They're exactly 10 to the negative third grams in a milligram. So that's got infinite. This has infinite and this has two. So two, infinity, and infinity, what's smaller? Two. And that's why our final answer is the way it is.